Would you believe me if I said my parents wouldn't let me do computer science at university because they said computers were just a fad or it was just for gaming and wouldn't be around very long. They said I had to do one of the traditional degrees, whatever that means. Well, I wasn't going to be a lawyer because I can't read. I wasn't going to be a doctor because I don't like needles and blood. They knew I liked to take apart things and break things, so engineer it was. Okay, you might believe that, but you won't believe that the one or two coding modules that I had as an electronic engineer, I really hated. I really, really hated coding at the beginning. I made every effort to avoid every coding module. Fast forward a few years, I came out of university with an electronic engineering degree, knowing two things for certain. One, I did not want to become an electronic engineer. And two, I didn't want to code. A friend from university was attending a hackathon halfway around the world in Hong Kong. And I was in the UK, if you have not guessed already from my accent. They shared their screen and I watched. And whoa, did I watch? My world changed. Why did they not show us this at university? Why was building something like a web page not covered? What we were doing was sorting data that a database or other tool could do for us anyway. Let's jump forward a few more years. When I started to get into open source, my first open source contribution was fixing a typo. In my defense, there was no Git or GitHub back then, and every project seemed to have their own server for CVS or SVN. We had to request access and submit our SSH keys, sign various forms, everyone had their own workflow, code review style, coding style. It was definitely a different landscape back then. As we're all friends here, full disclosure, but don't tell anyone. My second and third, fourth, maybe 10th pull request, well, I wasn't a pull request back then, but contribution were all fixing typos. That is how we all get started. So I welcome typos. No, I don't welcome typo, typos. I welcome typo fixes to all of my projects. Remember the story about me being a lawyer? Well, I couldn't read back then and I definitely can't write either. So I welcome all the improvements because I believe adding value is the important part. On a side note, if there's a typo and English is your first language, you probably understand what's going on and immediately just glance over it and understand what's trying to be said. But if it's not your first language, you may be thinking, what is this word? And spend time looking it up. Let's make it easier for everybody. Open source back then for me was a hobby. I did it because I loved learning, collaborating with people, sharing what I knew, and of course, coding. Conferences, hackathons, meetups are where I came alive. I was regular and consistent. I enjoyed meeting certain people at these events that I saw regularly at all these different events. I would geek out and share what we had learned. Then GitHub came around and became more known. When I applied for jobs, I could basically send them my GitHub link and skip a lot of the interview process. What happened next made my life even easier. Companies and clients started contacting me on GitHub to join their companies to contribute to their projects. Examples include UK high street banks, government departments in the UK, and big places like Facebook, GitHub, and Google. So if you want to climb the corporate ladder or be a freelancer like me, Open source and communication has helped me achieve this so much. You may be thinking, Eddie, why didn't you join one of these FANG companies? These came at the wrong time. I had left the corporate rat race, climbing the corporate ladder, and now been freelancing, aka consulting, for over 10 years. I love being able to pick my clients, pick my projects. For example, at the moment, I'm working with Datastax. You've probably seen some of the DevRel in my Twitter spaces, live streams, collaborating with me on loads of places. And we're also building the Eddie Hub community API using the Astra DB, which is a NoSQL cloud solution with an amazing free tier. Even running my automated tests against their cloud solution, which I shouldn't be doing, so don't tell anyone, but I was just trying to test things out, compare it to their local solution. I'm only using like 2% of my allowance. Why don't you build something using their Astra DB and let me know what you build and share a link to your repo. I'd love to see what you do because you can connect to their database locally or their cloud solution using REST, using Document API, using Cassandra QL, CQL. There's a sign up link in the description below. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So I feel that I went from an open source hobbyist to an open source career. And not to sound cheesy, but I love what I do. So really, I get paid to do my hobby and I want this for you. 
With all that now said and out of the way, how can you achieve this in less time than me? Well, you can learn from my mistakes. I have two regrets in my career. One is not starting open source sooner, and the second is not sharing content sooner. I know that might sound scary, but just to clarify what I mean by sharing content, I mostly mean learning in public, documenting your journey. If you learn something new, share it. That could be on Twitter, that could be a blog post, it could be a video like this. This will not only help you learn faster, communicate better, but also help others and make you stand out from the crowd. If there are only two things you take away from this video, then it'd be those two things. Start today. Well, you're probably doing it already without even realizing. I bet you're sharing tweets with information. I bet you're communicating with other people on other social platforms. But try and do it consistently and with purpose. I treat open source and content creation like brushing my teeth. Wait, Eddie, that sounds a bit weird. Let me explain. If you fall asleep on the couch and forget one day, you're not gonna wake up and all your teeth have fallen out. But over time, one month, three months, six months, one year, the benefits are huge. And the same goes for open source and content creation. Don't overthink it. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be good enough. And over time, the benefits will add up and be huge. Contribution to open source is great. Remember, it's not just about code. It is about adding value. What we say in the Eddie Hub community is collaboration first and code second. Because when contributing to a project, we raise an issue first. We collaborate. We then make changes and make a PR, a pull request. Again, we collaborate. A PR is effectively like an issue with some changes assigned to it. And you'll realize the changes are kind of a small part of the process. If we throw in GitHub discussions, then there's even more collaboration too. I believe it's about adding value to a project and that could be raising a bug. Confirming a bug exists with the same version of a browser of an environment or a different version. Improving the documentation and so much more. Having your own project is another great way to accelerate your career because you will learn different skills as a project maintainer and appreciate some of the challenges. I know, I know what you're thinking. I'm not a project maintainer. If you have a public project, for example, you've customized your GitHub profile, that is a public project and people can make suggestions to that. On a side note, if you have not done that already, do that today. Customize your GitHub profile by creating a repo with the same name as your username. And you'll immediately stand out even with a basic profile just using the template that GitHub gives you. I wanna check your GitHub profile, so make sure you do customize that today. Leave your username in the comments below. I'd love to check it out and have a look. And if you're further along and you have an open source project ready and you want it to stand out, you might want the fun vanity metrics, more stars, but also more contributors. My goal is to help people get into open source, accelerate their careers and learn more about GitHub. I created the Eddie Hub community where we all focus on being inclusive and supportive. Everyone in the Eddie Hub community is a mentee as well as a mentor because we can learn from both sides. For example, the way we ask questions gets so much better and we have a better understanding of how to ask people questions when we get asked questions. There's a lot of questions in that sentence, but you get the idea. But if you wanna grow your community and your content, take a screenshot and share this on socials, but include a tip, add value to your post. I will not only like it, but I'll reshare it with my community. So the people who missed this video then can also learn one or two or three tips that you took away from this video. It's about adding value to your posts, to your issues, to your pull requests. And don't forget to join Eddie Hub, a link in the description below. Let's geek out between live streams and videos. I'll see you in Discord.